Oh, so you can see by the title that it is that time of the year for the NRL uh, season. And so I am trying, I am going to do my best this year. I've tried multiple times to start doing this and it doesn't always work out. So I'm going to stick with it week in, week out, doing my predictions uh, of uh, each NRL round. So let's just get into it, shall we? Alrighty, now there's a new team, the Dolphins. Uh, that obviously now that makes a uh, 17 teams, so a team has to miss out. Uh, and this week, uh, St. George has that by, um, which is all right. I guess we don't have to watch the Dragons play, that's for sure. Uh, so that's who's got the buy uh, this week. Um, works out probably for the best anyway. That teams kind of get a bit more of a break, uh, as well as their mid-season uh, buy rounds when the set of origin is on. Uh, so it's, it's, I think it's good for teams to have kind of a, a break every now and then. All right, first game with my little dingo bongo gets going. Uh, season opener, uh, Parramatta Eels versus the Melbourne Storm. Uh, you can see here I've got the their ladder position uh, from last year, and Parramatta did come, uh, were runners-up in the grand final last year. Um, don't, honestly, I think everyone wanted the Cowboys to actually make it there. Um, unfortunately, they did not, uh, and we got the Eels versus Penrith, and was that a slog fest? So, uh, like two Eels credit, they they did fight hard um, in the back back end of the season to get to the grand final. Uh, just that no one wanted them there, which made it hard for the grand final because you had Eels that no one liked and Penrith that no one liked in the grand final. So which which is great. Uh, so Eels finished fourth last year and Storm finished fifth. And you'll actually find maybe besides one or two games this round, they're probably very evenly matched, uh, so which is which makes for a good opening round. Um, and Storm have a, it's not really a changed team that I can remember. Same with Eels, it's not much really changed. Uh, however, I did go with the Storm uh, for this game. I still think they're the better team. Uh, they've got a great system down there. And, yeah, so that's who I'm going for. Friday night, we've got the Warriors versus Knights. Uh, and this is NZ. I know I'm probably not the only one, but New Zealand really deserve to have every single game in New Zealand. That is definitely not a uh, lone opinion. There's a lot of people who also agree uh, that they should have had, um, I think maybe last season, when they were able to have uh, home games again. Um, but definitely should have had a full season at home just because for three years they had to move to Australia and not go overseas back home to see family. So, yeah, they deserved it. Um, again, matchup, Warriors finished 15th, Knights finished 14th. Uh, I have gone the Warriors. I think the Knights, I do think they will struggle this year. Uh, just I think it's mainly the off off field drama that kind of happens that kind of ruins them. It's not like they've got bad players on their team. I think they're just a bad team in general. So I've gone Warriors. Uh, the second game for Friday night is the reigning premiers, the Panthers versus the Broncos. Holy crap! What a game for the Broncos round one. Uh, unfortunately, I don't. Think Bron like to be honest, Broncos should have finished top four last year. I don't think they're good enough this year uh, to get to top eight. As you can see, they finished ninth. They just missed out. They blew a lead like I don't think anyone's blown a. Well, I don't mean blown a lead. I mean blew their chance to be in the uh, 
top eight. They were fifth or sixth at one point with like five rounds to go, and they just blew it. They I think they turned into an under twelves team, and they just yeah didn't turn out. So I am definitely riding off Broncos for a good chunk of this, and this is from a Broncos supporter. FYI. So don't think I'm too harsh on the Broncos, because I am. And I do think with all the off-field drama that's going on, players are leaving. We just have Farnworth and Flegler after the season are moving on, um, which in my opinion, they are good players. Um, so they are big losses, but this year I, I don't think they're going to do well. So obviously I'm going to pick the Panthers. They're just... No matter kind of what players, they're kind of like the storm at the moment. They've got a system in place, and I think they will be able to survive uh, for the time being. Uh, Saturday games, we've got Sea Eagles versus the Bulldogs again, evenly matched. Uh, oh, that Panthers Broncos is probably is one of the two games that is the kind of unmatched ones. But the rest of them, like Sea Eagles versus Bulldogs, 11th and 12th, the 12th of last year. Um, new coach for Sea Eagles. More players gone to the Bulldogs. So I have gone Bulldogs. I just... Sea Eagles are very tipped for this game. But I don't think they are going to be good enough. They might hit their stride maybe mid-season. Um... But they are a one-man team with Tommy Turbo, which is unfortunate. But he is injury-prone, which is unfortunate for a great player. That's just how life is. So I'm picking Bulldogs here. This, this was a 50-50 game for me. Got Cowboys versus Raiders. Um, third v. eighth of last year. Um, when I looked at the team list, it became a very, very easy decision to pick the team. The Like I said, all that momentum that Cowboys had last year, they should have been in the grand final. Um, one, it would have been made for a better game in the grand final. And fortunately, it just didn't happen. Um, and Raiders, I think they're going to be on the decline. They, they're probably going to be in rebuild for the next five years, I'm going to say. Um, it's just unfortunate because overall I don't I don't hate the Raiders. Um, do I would I like them to, to succeed every now and then? Of course. Um, it's just the way it is. So I'm going Cowboys. Sharks versus Rabbitohs. Now this was one another game that I had to check the team list of where things kind of swayed my decision. Um, would have been nice if Sharks won last year. Unfortunately, they just didn't make the grand final. And when I looked at the team list, I saw the Daily M winner of last year, Nico Hines, isn't in the team. So, as soon as I saw that, I instantly went the Rabbitohs. Uh, they just, they'll probably be a top four team this year. Um, if not pushing for the grand final. They're a great team all around. Um, I really like the way Latrell Mitchell has been playing ever since coming back. I think it was from suspension or injury at the start of last year or the year before. Um, the way he's gone about his footy, I just I can't deny how good of a player he is. I've never really hated him, ever. I just... I think it was just the drama surrounding him. I think it was just hard for him to shine through all that drama. Um, now it's really coming through. Um, so yeah, I'm going to rabbit those. Now, the new team, Dolphins, unfortunately have to verse the Roosters. So this was the easiest decision to pick the Roosters. And I'll probably talk more about the Roosters um, at the end because I've got my se overall season predictions. So I'll go on that. Now this is one of the last game that I had to really check to see uh, their team list to see how they kind of matched up. Again, evenly matched, 16th last year for Tigers, 
um, wooden spooners uh, versus the Titans, who should be wooden spooners every year. Uh, unfortunately, we don't get that. So I chose the Tigers because they they do have more players this year, and the Titans will start out hot probably at the start of the year. So I would not be surprised if they do win. Uh, but I'm gonna go Tigers as much as I don't want to. All right, season predictions. As you can see, down me a list of what I'm predicting for the season. Minor premiers, I still think the Panthers are still going to be on top. Uh, despite losing players, I think overall their system is probably too good at the moment um, to not be top. Again, I wouldn't be surprised. I do think this year they won't be making the grand final. Uh, but definitely, definitely pushing out there. They could be gone straight sets, I want to say. Uh, Wooden Spooners, the Knights. Even though they've got a new team in the Dolphins, and statistically, new teams do not last well. Last well? Last long. Um, not terms in, like, the team being around, but... They don't tend to last throughout the season, but they've tend to recruit well. They have recruited players more on the end part of their uh, career. Uh, I still think that's enough for them to do well enough to get the vital wins to not be on the bottom. Uh, but I, that's where I think Knights are going to be. Just the off-field drama, I believe, at the moment is just going to be maybe too much for them to kind of recover. Uh, so yeah, that's where they are. Uh, the Premiers, I've got the Roosters. It's kind of hard because I think you do have maybe five teams in contention. In contention. Contention. You've got Panthers, you've got the Roosters, you've got Rabbits, you've got Storm, and you've got, oh, maybe six, uh, Sharks and Cowboys. Those six teams will really push for the grand final. Uh, but ultimately, I think the never-ending cash that roosters tend to have um just being able to splash it at plays which is i think for years now i don't know how they manage the that salary cap but it just does um and unfortunately the daily m medal so the daily m is the uh plays uh what do you call it like mvp um oh what do you call it MVP, let's just go with MVP. Uh, there's another word uh, for it. It's James Tedesco. I'm not necessarily a massive fan. Uh, he is a good player, yes, but I also think that if you touch the ball and run a meter, that is not the greatest thing uh, that we've ever seen, which some commentators tend to do. Um, so, yeah, I... Um, I'm going with James Tedesco. He came second last year after Nico Hines. My memory serves me correctly. Uh, so, yeah, there we are. That is our predictions uh, for the 2023 uh, round one of the NRL season. Um, cool. So, it's going to be an interesting year. Uh, new team, players really shifted around in the offseason. Uh, and and for the season even finished last year uh so it's gonna be it's gonna be one hell of a year for for them so it'd be very interesting to see what happens Alrighty, i think i think that is it that you never saw send for the done base for your fire storm because i turn into a monster ready for the one without your black none of them boy they're not bad